you do nothing. Someday it's gonna reach the likes of you. What if this was your daughter? Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome back to the show and I finally saw uh, Sound of Freedom and it was now released here in the Philippines around yesterday and actually it's uh, released in, uh, in, in last week but I never got to see the advertisement so I got to see the last show yesterday so it's a very interesting film and I really want to uh, take my points of it and I'm gonna tell you what the Sound of Freedom is. Sound of Freedom is a 2023 American crime action thriller film directed and co-written by Alejandro Monteverde and starring Jim Caviezel, Miras Sorvino, and Bill Camp. Viesel plays Tim Ballard, a former U.S. government agent who embarks on a mission to rescue children from sex traffickers in Colombia. It is produced by Eduardo Verastegui, who plays a role in the film. The plot centers around Ballard's Operation Underground Railroad, an anti-sex trafficking organization. The film was released on July 4th, 2023 by Angel Studios, and it was a sleeper hit. It has grossed $212 million against a $14.5 million from its budget receiving mixed reviews from its critics while the audience reception has been highly positive and rightfully deserves its praise from the audience because it is really one of the a breath of fresh air from a sea of absolute garbage movies for this year. And I actually had a very emotional time with it. Are there any flaws in this movie? Yes, there is a little bit of flaws here and there, but it kind of overshadowed a lot of good things on how the subject matter has been portrayed in the film. It managed to tell the ugliness of the subject with grace and implied telling using silence, long shots, and cinematography to fill in the blanks on, on what happened. The shots from the door as well as from windows, that is that very long pause, and then they would close it and go, this is where a lot of, you have to fill in the blanks, all of that type of horror. And it really kind of hits you there. And it's, it's very, it's very, very powerful. And then on towards the next scene on what happened. And you can, you know, legitimately fill in those blanks. And the highlight of the movie was actually the performance of Jim Caviezel's Tim Ballard. I have never seen a very, a, a very concentrated character, a very you know, stoic and also sad. It, it, he writes that line very well. And and it's very, very interesting to watch. And you hyper-focus on his eyes. Like those bagged eyes that he saw many, many horrific sh- things in his job as well. And I kind of buy it. But also another thing I, I, what I like about uh, Jim Caviezel is his chemistry with Bill Camp as Vampiro. And Javier Godino as Jorge uh, from his time in Colombia. And I think it was very fun to watch as well how these three people uh, come up with plots to, you know, get to get those kids as well. And also another fantastic performance from the movie is actually the uh, child actress both uh, the younger sister as well as the little brother I mean, they were fantastic they really sell the emotion they sell the drama and i really really enjoy their performance one thing that i have problems with the movie is its runtime that you feel like the whole movie was done at uh one hour and 30 but it still have its another uh an hour to to make it through again but this time it was somewhat okay i can feel the runtime again Go. but overall I have thoroughly enjoyed the whole thing and came out of the movie absolutely in tears of what I've experienced it is a very some it is a very hard watch but it is a very thrilling experience to watch the film and and I have to give it up to Angel Studios for making this movie and also playing you know about the whole child trafficking thing it's a very touchy subject that no one wants to cover this but you know it, that's another story to tell but also another discussion to make with friends and family and stuff so my overall experience from the movie is absolutely f- not say fun but absolutely one of the most biggest exhales and relief you ever witnessed not because of the long, uh, runtime but of all the the drama the subject matter and you feel absolutely fulfilled and and I, if i ever get my rating on is that i give sound of freedom 
a must watch. Whatever you think about the movie, comment below and let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, do this, do that, do this, and do that, and I'll see you in the next video.